following is a fan main video. Lavix Base 66666 does not own any of the rights to the content in this video except for my voice and my opinion. Please support the official release. Hello and welcome to my current top 5 worst animes list. This is Lavix Base 6666. Now there are a few conditions to be in my top 5 worst games list. Condition 1, I've had to watch the entire thing so that I can be impartial in seeing the entire lot. Condition 2, it has to be English dub. And condition 3, no peer pressure on other people's part. Either way, let's... Number 5, Sucker Gun No Shana. I don't know what it is about this anime. It's got an awesome setting. It's got everything about it makes me want to like it. But for some unexplained reason, I just really cannot like it. And I've tried. It's got a lot of good points to it. It's just, I don't understand why I hate it. It, it just doesn't make sense. Hell, the show has a shitload of potential. It's just never followed through with it. Which is a shame because this show could have been one of my most favourite shows if it just tried to stick to formula or some kind of consistency. But yeah, that's the problem. Consistency. It doesn't know what it wants to be, whether it wants to be an action, a social romance anime, or a, or a comedy. Either way, watchable but not enjoyable. Imagine if you can, two people getting smashed off their face one night, then having sex in a sea of cocaine and horse tranquilizers. And through the defiance of God, a child is born from this unholy union between two horrible things, Seinfeld and Sex in the City. Despite all the efforts of mortals and gods alike, a creature was born. And that creature is my number four worst animes. It is Lucky Star. This show is so pointless. It has no punchlines, no comedy, no nothing. They spend the entire first episode talking about how to eat ice cream and other sweets. The only semblance of a plot is the two minutes at the end of the episode which is called Lucky Channel. And the other 20 minutes of the entire show is nothing but talking about nothing. It follows Seinfeld and Sex and City so well that it is just so pointless. And yet, it is still watchable. I actually enjoyed it to a point. To a very, very, very small point. But a point nonetheless. I can't really say a lot about this show because mainly there isn't anything in this show to talk about. Basically, all it does is jerk off a castrated dog. All of the rubbing and none of the fun. Well, don't think about that metaphor. I certainly didn't. So if you're in the mood to not think about something or just want to zone out to something that's pointless, check it out because, quite frankly, it is extremely pointless. Number three brought me a lot of disappointment. I was disappointed in myself for buying it, and I was disappointed in the universe for letting it exist. It failed every bit of potential it could have had. It was like going to watch a giant fireworks display that turned into someone just lighting their own farts. And speaking of just a light and fart, here is the number three. This ugly yet beautiful world. This show had so much potential. Aliens, mystical power, love, jealousy, hate. It had everything that it could have needed to create an awesome anime. And it cocked it up good and proper. The trailers got me so excited for this thing. It showed fight a dude fighting monsters, freaking turning into an awesome demon looking thing. And I thought, damn it, this is a show that I want to watch. Then I watched it, after paying good money for it. And what did I get? A one-dimensional love story that sucked ass with only two fights in the entire show. Even the final big battle turns into just a big, sook, sulk, emo piece of crap. I've never been so disappointed with an anime as this one. Stay away from it, it is pointlessly depressing. Continuing with the disappointment, the next one is She's the Ultimate Weapon. Again, another show that fucked me over with the trailers. Showing a freaking dude that who's lo in love with a chick who just wants to protect her and stop her from fighting because she's some kind of man-made weapon that's mass destruction. And that seemed pretty interesting for me to watch. I thought, you know, this is going to be good. Then, I watched it again. 
and I thought it sucked ass. A lot of ass. More ass than any friggin' prostitute could take. Not that I'm a prostitute, it's just that I'm pretty sure they suck a lot of asses. Sorry to the prostitutes of the world. I went in expecting to see a lot of battle in this, you know, armies being blown up, nukes being dropped, you know, the kind of end of the world kind of stuff. But in the end, all I got was a love story. Good love story, nonetheless, but not a very good show when they promote a lot of action and then give you nothing. Here's a hint, people. If you're going to make a trailer, show what's actually going to be in the show, not five seconds of one episode where something good was happening. Otherwise, you're going to get people like me pissed off to no end. And that's what this show made me. Pissed off. But if you want to see a love story, check it out. The show's actually not that bad. It's just really, really annoying and, yeah, it sucks. I reckon it sucks, but I was watchable. So, yeah, check it out if you want, but don't. Have you ever seen a dog chasing its own tail? Funny, right? Now imagine, instead of chasing its tail, the dog is just spinning around, shitting on itself. Still kind of funny to some people, but then the shit splatters all over you. That is my number one worst animes. Paranoia Agent. It is a giant jizz cannon firing into the face of anybody who tries to watch it. Anyone who tries to understand what the hell it, the story is trying to make is drowned in a sea of vomit after having aforementioned shit and jizz fired all over them. This show sucks so much. It takes enough piss to drown the most open-minded prostitute. Sorry again to the prostitutes. They're just easy targets. What the fuck was going through the creator's mind? Like seriously, what the fuck? Through the entire show, there was only one episode that I could watch again, maybe. And that is the episode where basically they're explaining the ins and outs of making an anime. Obviously a much better anime because this one sucks! It's horrible! It's a piece of shit! I can't... Uh, so much anger towards this show! I cannot calm down about how much I fucking hate this piece of goddamn piece of shit! Let's be serious for a moment. I have wasted a lot of time in my life. A lot of time. I've played crappy games. I've watched crappy shows. I've slept into six o'clock in the afternoon. I would gladly do that for the rest of my life than have to watch this show ever again. I have so much hatred and anger towards this thing. I don't know if I'll ever recover. There is a hollow place in my heart that will never be filled because this thing actually exists. On the other hand, if you're a masochist, watch this show because it will hurt you very 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 much but only if you have the old so in closing don't watch any of these pieces of crap sure a couple of them have some good points but overall they suck and that's putting it politely well anyway thank you for watching this episode all the way to the end if you have any comments leave a comment if you like the show subscribe just remember that this is my opinion and nobody else's also if you'd like tell me about your worst animes. Maybe I'll watch them, check them out and make a review on them. Or tell me about your favourite animes because I'm going to be making a top 10 of my most favourite animes very soon when I get some time. Maybe. Never. Right now. I'm not sure but either way it'll be done. Subscribe. Studied Machiavelli, Aristotle, Gabe, and Plato, yet you still equate my intellect to that of a potato. This place would fall apart without my ever watchful eye. They might tell you I'm a half wit, it's a great big bloody lie. So don't call me a moron, I'm super astute. There is no conundrum that my core cannot confuse. No, don't call me a moron, you fostered balloon My IQ's the infinite space from here to the moon My 
Sonic used the infinite space from here to the moon. 